हाय एवरीवन नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फ्रेंड्स आरबीआई परमिट्स बैंकिंग अपडेट्स में आरबीआई परमिट्स टू अंडरटेक कॉम्प्रोमाइज सेटलमेंट ऑफ बिलफुल डिफॉल्टर एंड फ्रॉड अकाउंट्स वीडियो की शुरुआत विस्तृत करने से पहले एक निवेदन कि प्लीज अगर आपने मेरा चैनल अभी तक सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब करें ताकि आपको नोटिफिकेशन मिलता रहे In order to ensure maximum recovery from the distressed assets, the Reserve Bank of India has allowed banks to go for compromise settlement of fraud accounts and willful defaulters. All regulated entities will be required to put in place board-approved policies for undertaking compromise settlements with the borrowers as well as for technical. right of laying down the process to be followed for all compromise settlements and technical right offs with a specific guidance on the necessary conditions president the rbi said in a notification conditions would include minimum aging deterioration in collateral values etc rbi may undertake compromise settlements or technical right off The policies would also put in place a graded framework for examination of staff accountability in such cases with reasonable threshold and timeless timelines as may be decided by the board. REs may undertake compromise settlement or technical write-offs in respect of accounts categorized under as a willful defaulter or fraud. without prejudice to the criminal proceedings underway against the such debtors policy shall contain provisions related to the permissible sacrifice for the various categories of the exposures in respect of the compromise settlement the policy shall inter alia contain provisions relating to permissible sacrifice for various categories of the exposures while arriving at the settlement amount after prudently renocking the current realizable value of security collaterals were available as per the notification the met- the methodology for arriving at the realizable value of the security shall also for part of the policy objectives what is the objectives of this permission from the rbi the objectives would be maximize the possible recovery from a distressed borrower at minimum expense in the best interest of the regulated entities the compromise settlement and technical write offs would be without prejudice to any mutually agreed contractual provisions between the rh and the borrowers relating to future contingent <coughs> realization or recovery by the rh subject to such claims not being recognized in any manner on the balance sheet of the regular entity at the time of settlement or subsequently till actual realization of such receivable any such claims recognized on the balance sheet of the rej would render the arrangements to be treated as restructured as per the extent guidelines in respect of the borrowers subject to compromise settlements the notification there would be a cooling period as determined by the respective board approved policies before the rej can assume fresh exposure to such borrowers what is cooling period the cooling period in respect of exposures other than form credit exposures would be subject to a floor of 12 months however it said rees are free to stipulate higher cooling period in terms of their board approved policy the cooling period are for form credit exposure would be determined by the rees as per their respective board approved policy rbi has permitted for the settlement of the compromise proposal 
for the willful defaulters and the fraud account. According to RBI, the objective is to maximize the recovery from the stress account. But here, the board must frame a policy, foolproof policy, to avoid any type of the further fraud in compromise settlement. Thank you, friends. Namaskar.